this is some old animations. This is just all the old animations that I made uh, that I've got records of. This is pretty much all of them. I started 3D modeling when I was about 13 years old or so. And uh, so I, I accumulated over the years a bunch of stuff. And uh, I'm not going to talk too much about these because they're, they're kind of self-explanatory. But I just wanted to have some audio to go along with it. Uh, some of these I was really proud of. Some of them I, I didn't show to very many people. Um, and you can see why I, I haven't put these up on the internet before now, because, you know, um, they're not, they're not that great. But, you know, I, I figured I'd, I may as well put stuff out there and, you know, show people. Uh, I know, starting out myself, I would get really distracted and, and discouraged. Um, distracted by all the amazing things that people were making and discouraged by all the amazing things people were making. And, uh, I just wanted to to share this in part because I, I feel like it's going to waste just sitting on my hard drive, you know, sitting in an archive. Uh, but also in part because I want to show people that, like, I didn't start out at a great place. Like, it, this stuff suffers from all the problems. Pacing, uh, bad color use, uh, framing, um, timing, continuity errors, all these, I mean, it's just, it's real, real not good. Um, and so a lot of this stuff is, uh, I'm putting it out there just so people can see, like, hey, even uh, even people who now make what I think are pretty good stuff uh, don't don't always start out at pretty good stuff level. So, uh, yeah. I'm not sure what Spectatrix was. What was that for? Somebody did something. This is one of my, my favorite ones. Because uh, it actually had like scenes and a, a plot, not a great plot, but you know, something we made for next door neighbor. There's that robot again. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, almost all of these were made using Carrara, or Raydream Designer, or Raydream Studio, or something like that. And uh, so they all have kind of a, a particular look. This one in particular is, a, a, I don't know why I, I wanted a, an ICBM, a mobile ICBM to launch a rocket into a transformer through a pumpkin. I think I was just looking for excuses to make things explode or something. Uh, that tower one, oddly enough, was before the two towers, so I don't know. Hmm. Odd. Uh, yeah, so there's there's a bunch of stuff in here. I also recently uploaded a bunch of my old pictures to my Google thing, and uh, I'll put a link in there. And uh, may as well announce here that I am still doing commissions, but I no longer do free quotes. I'm, I'm moving to uh, pay for quotes. So I don't know if anyone's going to ever contact me again for commissions, but that will be fine with me because I just don't have that much time anymore, and I got to take care of my kids and take care of my wife and... Um, that one loops. I like looping things. Uh, anyway, so if, uh, if you want me to, to make something for you, I'm still happy to consider it, but I can't just talk to every schmo who can send an email. You're going to have to send me a dollar. I mean, a dollar's not much, but, you know, uh, it's something. So, still taking commissions, but it's through, uh, you have to contact me through Patreon, because I'm, I'm not going to be taking emails just from random strangers anymore. That was supposed to be the guys, the guys here with the shotguns are supposed to be uh, the equivalent level of Goku, the the Super Saiyan, and it's equivalent to like 5,000 guys with shotguns or something like that, his power level. So I just, I made a thing with 5,000 guys with shotguns. You know, that's the, that's the level of planning that went into most of these things, like, oh, I've got this idea, I'm going to spend like six hours painstakingly putting together this shoddy production. And uh, now I spend six hours painstakingly putting together stuff for other people. So, eh, I guess I, nothing's really changed that much. Uh, these were done in Blender, the, the fluid simulations, because Blender is actually a good piece of software. And I moved to Blender from Raydream Designer uh, in college. Um, I made The War in Heaven. You can see that one. I'll, I can put a link to that in the description, too, if I remember. Um, but it's up on, on my YouTube. 
And after I did that, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna make anything else in Carrara. I've got to get a, a piece of software that actually works. Oh, look at this! It's, uh, it's got some music. Some sort of lighthouse. Lady fainting. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so a lot of this is things exploding. Um, because it's easier to make stuff explode than it is to have a story. And, you know, sometimes more fun. This is something my brother made, my brother Ben. Uh, it was, like, walk through into a dwarf cave or something. And I think this was one that took, like, three days to render. It wasn't worth it. Also, these were done decades ago, so three days to render is... Uh, you know, you don't get as much as you do now out of that. But, that's how it goes. There's some motion tracking, some real simple motion tracking. And there's Andy Dance. I think this is the last one. Oh no, there's the alien thing. I don't know why I made that. Some sort of... Some sort of character animation thing. Anyway, uh, thanks for humoring me and watching this stuff.